Okay, welcome to the tutorial on how to use Modbus in C++. So, today we'll be using a Modbus library called LightModbus and we'll be programming in a super caveman method. Okay. There are probably better methods, but we'll be focusing on how to how to integrate LightModbus into Visual Studio. Okay? So, for Linux users, you can just install this whole library with a very simple and short command with this but for windows uh, the method that i found work best it's going to github and this is a github page right this is the main branch of the code yeah of course main branch of the codes uh, gets regular updates on trying to fix bugs or and sometimes it also ex it might accidentally introduce introduce new bugs into your system. So we're going to take something more stable, which is the releases. You can go over here. We're going to choose the latest one, three point one seven. Okay, and you can download the source code over here. Okay. So now open up your downloads. Okay. Okay, this is the file that I download. Okay, I got two copies. Okay. So we're going to extract it out and this is the source code for the whole library. Okay, Our main concern will be over here. Okay, So before we can take this code over here, right, we need to uh, configure it. Okay, So go to Windows 32. Okay, Over here, you need to go to CMD okay? and then you need to run C script configure.js okay and this program will help to to provide the necessary um, files that provide information on the library that you're using so that it can uh, work properly okay so you see this config.h okay okay put it drag it into the source code okay and over here, uh, you will see. Okay, you should see all of the C and the .h files. Okay, so now we are, <coughs> and you should also see the modbus version .h. Okay, this is the file that's created together with the config .h. Okay, so now we are ready to run Visual Studio. Okay. So now this is a Visual Studio. Let's create a new project using Visual Studio. I'm gonna call name it uh H RFID HF bus. Okay. Okay, make sure you call create. So once you're done creating your C console app, you're gonna run it. Okay, just to make sure everything is correct. Hello world, yeah. So, so there is uh, at least most of, most of this has been created successfully. Okay, so now we're gonna populate the solution tree with the necessary files so that you can tell it uh, where you can look for files. And okay, so we're gonna firstly we're gonna open the repository where you save all of your info. So this is a repository. You see the name of the new project I created. Go in, go in one more time. Okay, over here I'm gonna create a folder to store all of my like modbus files. Okay, so that it will not be mixed with my the files that I created. Okay, so go on over here. Okay, take note. Okay, now copy all the c and the .h files okay copy and paste and then go back in the file that you downloaded right go back one step you will find a very important oh no not go back sorry go forward win32 you'll find modbus.rc okay so need to Go out, okay, and then pull Modbus RC. 
into the uh, main page okay okay and then that's about all so now let's go back to our project okay so now we need to run we need to include all of the .c files into the source file okay and then you include all the .h files into the header files and lastly just now the .rc file pull it into the resource files okay so now even though you uh, drag the files into the whole solution tree right it only makes things easier for you to open over here you have not really told the whole program where to find the stuff. So now we're going to do the necessary configuration to tell the Visual Studio where to find the different folders. Okay. So now, okay. So firstly, we are going to go to. Wait, let me drag my notes in. Okay. So firstly. We are going to go C++. We need to include directories. Okay. So we need to tell it where did you keep. Remember we keep all the modbus files in the special folder. Okay. We need to tell it where you keep it. Okay. Because, because it's not in the usual place outside with everyone else. Okay. So now, and then you go to... <coughs> resource you also have to tell the resource where to find the include directories okay so it's the same create a new folder like mock bus okay okay so now next step we need to include the preprocessor libraries okay so these are necessary for you to compile Properly without any errors. So go to preprocessor definition, edit, and copy the thing in. Okay? If you don't compile with this, you get a lot of warnings. You get a lot of errors. Huh. They will stop you from it. Lastly, you need to add this thing into your linker. Okay? So in linker, you need to go to additional input uh, your additional dependencies edit add this in okay so that's about all and lastly we need to go and configure our mod bar. hi yeah okay never mind i think once i build it once it should be okay let's run it no Oh, you can't find a config.h. Oh, what to do? Let me see my config.h. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I think I know. Okay, so over here, we need to we need to include our modpass.h. Okay. And then uh, what's what's next? Hmm. Let's see how cannot open modbus dot h. Okay. Oh, let me check again. Maybe I didn't do it properly. Okay. okay. Thing you need to change the top right to x64 i want to compile it in the x64 environment which is similar to which is basically compiling for your 64-bit machine okay uh, okay because just now all the configuration right we, we are we made it for x64 okay so you only look for yeah you, all this configuration is only for x uh for your x64 configuration 
if you change it to 86 it will go to 86 configuration okay so now it is the last thing you need to do because our mod bus version H it's somewhere else right okay it is actually in the directory that it's one step okay away from our modbus.rc okay it's inside one more step in one more file inside okay so it's not outside like where you copy it from so delete this now run and hello world yeah okay so at least your base code your compiling has no issues so now we're gonna add some code okay to make it run properly okay so for now okay i think some of you might want to uh, okay for because our modbus dot h files right it's actually a c file so some of you might think might have issues with this the compiling so you can just extern c to tell it you're actually compiling dot c files okay this is how you tell the this is how you tell the process preprocessor you're compiling dot c files oh okay, hmm. okay let's see ya. it may or may not be necessary for different computers but at least uh, it's not necessary for mine Okay, but to avoid problem, we will just tell the system I'm using .c files, okay? So, now, I'm going to add, I'm going to do some mod bus test. I'm going to add some code to test my mod bus, okay? So, I'm adding, I'm adding the uh, simple code for reading a mod bus register at the address 1a. So why one A? Okay, so I'm gonna I hooked up my device right to uh to a random device that I have. Okay, let's see and according to the Modbus memory map, all the data is stored in the address one A. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I can show you. I can show it over here. So by connecting it to the device, I can read whatever device here. So sometimes this actually represents. I'm actually connecting it to a RFID uh, tag head. So this represents which tag head is actually reading the information. Okay. Hmm. I should add a camera in. Let me add a camera in. Okay, I think I you should be able to see the camera. Okay. Uh, what I'm using is a. Uh, let's see. What I'm you? I'm actually using a RFID module reader module keyband S2 RFID over here. Okay, and. And in front of me, I is connected to two RFID read heads. Okay, that's uh, uh, how's that? That's in a high frequency bus mode. So basically, all the all the mem eh? all the details of the RFID, uh, can be all the RFID can be connected serially, uh, but all the data will be trans transmitted to the RFID module, uh, in just one line. Okay, so uh, and according to the documentation, you can see that the Modbus TCP IP where I can find if the attack is present, uh, it's over here. It's stored in register 0A, okay, which is why you can see from my code, okay. I'm reading. Okay, let's see. I'm reading. Reading register from address A. 
length of one and I'm storing it to tag present. Okay. Okay. So then next I'm gonna add other extra code. Okay, uh I will share it. Okay. Okay, hopefully the so if you want you can just copy over here or I'll be sharing the code with you upon request. Okay. So now once all the thing is ready, right? Let's run the code. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay, never mind. Let me stop the code. Okay, I'm gonna show you the proper demonstration. Okay. Uh and using a Modbus reading software, Modbus Pro. Okay. So over here just now you can see right in this in register A. If I put a tag at the first read head, the number is one. If I put a tag at read head two, the number will be two. Okay. Uh, the sorry. Okay, the number won't be two. Uh, it will be shown as uh, okay. It will be shown in a uh, uh, bit manner. So let's see. How can I change the format? Uh, yeah, binary. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. So it corresponds to a bit. First read head, the first bit will turn on, and then the second read head, the second bit will turn on. Okay. So now, if I take it away, the bit goes away. Okay. So now this is the correct one. Let me disconnect this program, and then if we run the C program. So, gotta check what what is the tag. Uh, where is the tag present at? Zero means nowhere. Okay. Zero means nowhere. I'm gonna put it at the second read head. Okay. Okay, and then you see the number it turns to two. I'm gonna put it to the first read head, and the number turns to one. Okay, so that means the program is working. So yeah, and congratulations! If you manage to copy all the code, you will have a you have a complete C plus plus program for Modbus. Yeah, uh, this method is a very caveman, uh, very caveman method of trying to uh, integrate a code from GitHub. Okay, there may or may not be better methods on how to use like Modbus in a uh, Visual Studio. 2017, but uh, I found that this work method works the best for me. If you have better methods, uh, please share it with me. I'll be happy to learn from you. Yeah, not I'm just a very amateur coder. So thank you, and this is the end of the video.